What dental product is actually like bullshit? They don't. Electric toothbrush worth the investment? Rank our teeth. Maybe a. Boss, boss. What? The more important thing is. Being a dentist easier than being a doctor? Do teeth whitening products really work? Is there something your dentist isn't telling you? Wow. So many questions, so little answers. <laughs> 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 but not to worry, today we have Dr. Chong here with us. Yay! Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the show. show. Dr. Chong. She's an experienced dentist who's mm. going to help us debunk all the dental myths. Help us maybe even overcome our fear of the dentist. About time, oh, Jared. Can, uh. Yeah. <laughs> when, <laughs> when There's some deep stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, Dr. Chong. Hey. hey hello. Please introduce Hi. yourself. Hi, um, I'm Dr. Chong Wei Ling hey. with Q&M Balestia. Oh. I've been a general dentist for nine years now. Experienced. Wow. So I actually know her. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Because in case you guys didn't know, right, we basically went for dental screen. Then when it was JP's turn, right, there was like huge laughter and conversation. They were like, hey, JP really so sociable, man. Yeah. <laughs> it turns out that you, you guys actually know each other. So, Dr. Chong actually won a competition, a contest, <laughs> right? It was, I think like it was a contest. Eight years ago. Yeah. Huh, wow. To join me when I was in my previous company to go on a trip to China. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. For a holiday. Yeah. 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 This contest. Yeah. I also don't know. What was the contest actually? It's a school contest for a trip to Guangzhou. So, uh, uh. so yeah, we went to Guangzhou together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you so remember strange. anything of your uh, like interaction with JP? Yeah, he was, he was quite funny, I think. Yeah, Back was, then. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> then now I shy. Because the moment I walk into the clinic, right? Right, that she straight away like ask me whether I remember her. <gasps> yeah, that's yeah. the worst. Yeah. 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 Then she reviewed that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then after she away, she put her hand in my mouth. First. <laughs> is normal. <laughs> what dental product, right, is actually like bullshit? Right? Ooh! It's the thing you put in the mouth and then got the light come out and I tell you, that one doesn't oh, make sense. Oh, uh, yeah. whitening. Are there any like gimmicky like dental products? I cannot speak for their product sure. because I don't know what's in their product. I see, mm. I see. Yeah, correct. So, But you got go to like, you know, like a, a drugstore and then you see the toothpaste and then you say like, oh, this one is the new whitening one. The no whitening yeah, version. Yeah, that's it's my like, question. You go like, cannot be. Because, okay, for the past don't know how many years I've been alive, right? <laughs> okay. Oh. They, they have always been advertising toothpaste. But I feel like it's always the same messaging. It's whitening, mm. removes plug, mm. and then like, wow, suddenly like the dirt, right? Then mm, How many hour protection? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I'm, not, I'm asking like, recommend. is it all toothpaste are uh, roughly the same? So whitening toothpaste, they work to a certain extent because they help get rid of extrinsic stains. So like stains caused by coffee and tea. Mm. Yeah, so the reason why is because they contain abrasives. But oh, they don't abrasive. change the color of your teeth. Uh, it's like painting over a dirty wall. Uh. Yeah. Uh, no, it's no, more like it's removing like the stains. The wall, yeah, more but like you so correct. it doesn't paint the wall. Yeah. You're just washing the wall. Correct, correct. <laughs> uh, like you just remove the surface. Yeah, yeah. Remove the yeah. Stain. Remove remove yeah. the stains. Oh, just what she correct. said, like, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, and then right, okay. How much toothpaste do we actually need? Because usually on my toothbrush, mm-hmm. I wet one. Ah. Oh, one I put the length of the bristles. The length of the bristles. I put very Mine is a P. Yeah, yeah. P, P, P. P. Is a, no, P but the thing is that P, oh. P, right. run out on the left side. By the time I get to the right side, no more. <laughs> Every time like, I put P size, right? By the time I put the water, right? It falls. <laughs> <laughs> then oh, I just continue. It's, it's water first, <laughs> then the water. That one user issue. That one user issue. It's true. Hey, hey, hey. No, so hey. a P size yeah, P is size. enough. Yeah, P size is sufficient. I think the more important <laughs> thing size. is um, you want to make sure that the toothpaste you're using contains fluoride. I think that's the more important part. Does fluoride actually cause discoloration? No, 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 it doesn't. Okay. It protects okay. your teeth and helps strengthen <laughs> your teeth. Electric toothbrush? Ah. Ooh. Mm. Worth the investment? I just bought one. Okay, so there's two types. Uh. There's the one that rotates like... Uh. And then the one that just vibrates. Yeah, uh. correct, correct. <laughs> um, so electric toothbrush is actually great because, oh. um, you know, with, with the brush heads, the different kinds of oscillating brush heads, um, the they are proven to re- be more effective in reducing plaque. Oh, fantastic. Correct. At the end of the day, I think it's important the correct brushing techniques. La. Oh, correct, correct. Please, so, please, please. Leave it so demonstrate. I use a manual toothbrush. Yeah. Same. So traditional. Yeah. traditional. So yeah. you can you can it can still get rid of plug effectively. Yeah. Okay. So basically you don't want to be brushing so hard like, uh, like that, like that. Because you know, brushing harder doesn't mean 
Better. You know, you're, yeah, cleaner really? doesn't mean you're removing plug effectively, okay. la. So, oh, nice. um, so it's like rock climbing. It's like <laughs> no, mine is yeah. more blood, not good. <laughs> <laughs> is it your toothbrush? Right, is like let it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> you never remove the bristles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it just like yeah. okay, no blood, then not good. No, no, no that's you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. yeah. So, so, so you want to actually angle it 45 degree angle to your gum line circular okay. motions about 15 to 20 seconds in each area the whole mouth should take about 2 minutes it's 2 like minutes, minutes. Okay, okay. I only need okay. yeah. 30 seconds yeah. <laughs> no, it's very cool because the electric toothbrush I bought right like most of them have already it's like there's a 2 minute timer yes yes Yeah. Yes. so they will actually Must tell you correct. when you are done I wow. see, I yeah. see. Yeah. But what if you like only cover this part, right? Then the two minute timer over. Oh, then <laughs> over brush. <laughs> no, you're done, no? You're done. <laughs> you're like, damn it, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Speed run. Y'all got use tongue cleaner. No. I use the toothbrush. I recently used, right? And I didn't know, right? Mock. Tongue is so disgusting, eh? Yeah. When you do that thing, and then suddenly this like layer yes. of like yeah, you should smell it. Yeah, it's like a doormat. You never see for very long. I have to brush it every day. If yeah. not, it's rough. You brush your teeth. Yeah. No, no, brush my tongue. Brush the your brush tongue. Like, ah, brush your because tongue. like most toothbrush, they have the flip side, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But like the waves suck. Like yeah. cannot remove anything. So you just use the bristle. I just the use the bristle. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I think yeah. that thing quite good. Yeah. Also, you must metal scrapers. You must do the uh. You know the when you brush your tongue, you uh. You went too far. You went too far. Yeah. So, so since we have an expert here, maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah it's, it's, it's important to brush your tongue. So brush basically, tongue. Uh, if let's say you don't brush your tongue, you notice like sometimes there's a yellow film or white film. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what contributes to bad breath. I think that's mm. what you mentioned, right? It's like very smelly. Uh, exactly. exactly. Yeah, so um, I think you can use either a tongue scraper, which mm. is what you're using, or you can use, uh, you know, the your toothbrush. Yeah, 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 yeah I think yeah. it works well as well. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's equally important as brushing your teeth. What should we look out for? How should we use mouthwash to mm. yeah. the optimal alcoholic, way? Non-alcoholic mm. speed Correct. Out. So I think for mouthwash, yeah, there are, there are so many different kinds in the market. So it depends on what you're going for. If let's say, you know, you're looking for something to freshen your, your breath versus something with added you know, cavity protection. Right. Number one, I think usually I advise my patients to choose mouthwash without alcohol mm. because alcohol can actually dry out your mouth. So find a mouthwash that has no alcohol in it. Okay. And then subsequently, you know, ulcer, you want some antibacterial oh. mouthwash, then you want to look for a mouthwash with the antibacterial um, active ingredient. I yeah. always have this perception, but I've never like clarified whether it's true. Like if I take a mouthwash and I don't really feel the pain, it's okay. But if I start feeling like a bit of pain on one side, it means it's killing the germs on one side. Huh? No, uh, pain <laughs> yeah. also no, yeah, it shouldn't be. Because yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. sometimes burn, yeah. Terms, so burn is always inconsistent. Like uh, some parts burn, okay, some parts okay, don't okay, burn. Okay. And mm. it's only because, right, and I think I might have been lied to as a child. Like there was one time where I had a had, had a knee scrape and then my teacher had to pour like that all. Then he, I think maybe he was trying to calm me. So he said, if it hurts, right, it means it's cleaning the jumps it's a good thing and it hurt like a <laughs> <laughs> correct I also heard the same thing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just very so then in my head this whole time whenever I use a mouthwash I'm like oh it's killing the germs like feel the burn yeah I, I make sure I tear a bit like yeah no 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 it's not supposed to hurt so it's supposed to you know uh, complement your oral hygiene but it's not supposed to substitute brushing. Not replacement. Okay. 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 Correct. Correct. I also saw correct. this like Facebook video where oh. there's this common misconception that you don't immediately brush and then spit like immediately. You should keep the toothpaste in your mouth for a while, then you spit. You can wait if you want, but I think I think the more important thing is uh you want to spit, not rinse. You don't have to wait to spit because the idea is that you spit and you don't rinse, so you let a layer of fluoride toothpaste remain on your teeth. Right. For it to work, it's magic. I've been rinsing my whole yeah. life. Eh. Wait, wait, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, <laughs> toothpaste. <laughs> nice. Nice. Then, pui. Then, no. Yeah, no, no. no. <laughs> you know, no what if right. the chicken is like that? What how? chicken? Oh. <laughs> like, you, need, you know you need more water to collect. Then use your toothpaste. Like, <laughs> the, the tooth, the toothbrush would have done that job. Oh. Means you're not brushing properly. So you're supposed no, to have a bit of that toothpaste yes. still in your mouth. Oh, yeah. so, so the idea is that you actually want a thin layer of fluoride because fluoride in your toothpaste yeah. takes time to work. Right. right. Yes, yes yeah. correct. So if you rinse out immediately, then you dilute the concentration of fluoride. Then it reduces its effectiveness. No yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so you want, you want to... Uh, spit and not rinse and leave a layer of fluoride on your teeth for it to work and wait at least 30 minutes. It's crazy. Mind blowing. Yeah, this is crazy. Okay, yeah. then another one, another one. In the morning, should you brush your teeth before or after breakfast? That's a huge one for me. Okay, I cannot right, eat without brushing, without teeth brushing my teeth in the morning. Because right? huh? I feel like when I eat, I can taste the saliva that I feel like I need, I'm going to get. It's the, the, the one that build up when you sleep, right? Then got the <laughs> bit of up. bad breath. Kind yeah, of thing. like yeah. if I drink water yeah. after, when I wake up, right, without brushing my teeth, right, I will like... Mm, yeah, mm. like it's, 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 
It's okay to brush um, before consuming your breakfast because after eating, you want to wait 30 minutes before you brush. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so it okay. doesn't make sense, right? So you want to brush your teeth first, then it's okay to eat your breakfast. But of course, um, you know, it's a bit more effective if you leave the fluoride, the thin layer of fluoride toothpaste in your mouth uh, at night after you brush. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because at night after you brush your teeth, you don't eat already. Right? Because I'm so curious. I always see that there are people mm. that brush their teeth after lunch. And to me, it's like, why well, you brush three times a day? Mm. Mm. Yeah, that seems have... excessive. <laughs> is, that, is that okay? Is that normal? Twice a day is, is good enough. Twice yeah. Day, so, so, so after lunch, don't brush immediately as mentioned. Yeah, la. of course. Yeah. Mm. So if let's say you need something to freshen up your mouth, you can always rinse with water so you get rid of the gross debris in your mouth. Yeah, mm. gross uh, debris. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Everywhere. No, no, gro- gross debris means like... <laughs> oh, it's, it's, a it's, it's, a, it's a word. It's a word. It's, it's yeah. official term. Yeah, it's official oh, term. Yeah. So it just means gross like, as in total. As in, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Gross okay. profit like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it's disgusting. Yeah, I thought it's like a gross debris. Wow, that's subjective. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, <laughs> yeah, and all you can use mouthwash la. You can use mouthwash to freshen up your breath if you like. Yeah. So you don't you don't have to brush. Yeah, but if you do want to brush midday, then after eating you wait thirty minutes. So then the order is brush, floss, and mouthwash. New no, we didn't get it all wrong. Yeah. Oh, no. It's like she's back in school. Sorry, okay, no. okay. oh, you I, us. I, I don't also do the same thing. Brush, no floss. tongue scraper, floss, floss, but not with water. No can. No, but she said don't wish. She said don't wish. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Okay, so I think I think the, <laughs> She's just gonna the okay. correct order is you want to floss first, oh, then God. brush. Because after you brush, you don't want to rinse, what? Right? Yeah. So the mouthwash you can use. Okay. Um, but you can use it thirty minutes after you brush, or you can use do it, it midday, lah. Yeah, lunch. Mm, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Brush so with lunch. Floss, floss first. Floss, then brush, then brush. Teeth. Then after lunch, mouthwash. Yes. yes. Okay. Can oh. I have my new oral? Damn, yeah, 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 yeah. This is important. So speaking of that, right? We've recently went to visit you yeah. so that we can go through a screening procedure. I'm yeah. still not exactly clear what exactly that was, but can you maybe explain to us what we what we went yeah. to do? Sure. So you came in for a consult. So basically, it's for me to look at you know the dental health. We did a quick scan of your teeth. So we use the intraoral scanner. Take images of your of your mouth. An intraoral scanner. Yeah, intraoral okay. scanner. Correct. You can see what I see in your mouth. It's it's, it's yeah. crazy because usually when you go to the dentist, right, like back in the day, 20 years ago, it's like two things. One is a circle mirror ah, and yes. then the other one is a really sharp hook thing. Yes, and then yes. it's like using eye power yeah. to basically determine whether mm. you got like cavities or what. But mm. now it's a it's a 3D scanner. Yeah, yeah, actually. yeah. It was painless, right? It was painless. Mm. And yeah. it was uh, very fast, like mm. less than five minutes. And yeah. and you can see exactly what's going on in your mouth. And it's, it's easy for me to explain to you because seeing is believing right? <laughs> right? Yeah. so when I say you know you have a hole in your teeth you can see it when you do dental x-rays is it actually harmful it's not it, there's very low radiation those involved in dental x-rays oh, okay. um, so actually you know, every day we're exposed to natural background radiation actually oh. so even watching TV there's radiation oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. Always say correct. Correct. Yeah. correct so when you take a small dental x-ray it's actually equivalent to um, a few hours of natural background radiation mm. oh. yeah, so it's actually very low for patients who are opposed to taking dental x-rays yeah. then I think the great thing is that we have scanners now yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. so we can always scan and then um, the scanners there's a function which helps us detect if there's decay mm. yeah so we can use it to Eight examination and of course if let's say the you know, scan you know, highlights that you know this area that might be the key then oh we may want to take x-rays for this area so yeah, yeah it was big for me because like I always forget where I have a problem and then mm. when I go I like the, uh, the dentist will say like you know was it here was it here but now I have the scans and yeah. I can like yeah. show Plus, speaking of the, the scans also I remember one thing that I like is that you get to take home or they will email to you the, the photos mm. and the records will be available to your dentist so that you can actually see it over time to see whether like uh, is it corroding yeah. I do you grind your teeth yeah. like what's the what's the progress like plus you can like zoom in because I remember at the session you zoom yes, in and then correct. you like yeah. Yeah. It and then you like correct. zoom in off the problem yeah, like Iron Man. Yeah. Yeah, and then like you suddenly shots. made it like black or white and then you tell me like your tooth got cracked like. yes yeah. was, like, yeah. what? oh and the yeah. rainbow part also like you see all yeah. the different mm. colours yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so the rainbow part basically is to see uh, how heavy you're biting yes. on some teeth mm. so oh, yeah, whether you're yeah, overloading some teeth or not so I think those those like the rainbow part is like heat map right so yeah. it's very easy for you to understand mm. yeah, red means you know there's a very heavy contact on those areas yeah for kids when they take x-rays they have to stand in a 
living room alone. Yeah. They can get quite scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if the scanners, then their parents are just right beside them. Oh, that's yeah. true. And then they can see exactly what's wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's such a fun experience yeah. also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you the whole thing, you know. It's like, you want to see your teeth, not? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. 3D things. Like, I'll, I'll, be, yeah. I'll be so excited to bring my kid to oh, do yeah. a 3D scan. Yeah. Our new format is ranking episodes and like it's it's been getting a bit of popularity and I think to share on that same uh, playlist, I wanted to find out if you could rank our teeth, our dental <laughs> hygiene situation. <laughs> Uh, can, can the A to D? <laughs> how would you how would you rank us? At the A and D. <laughs> oh, Let's, be. <laughs> Let's begin. No la, no la. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's like so bad. We, we need to hear one. Uh, you know? <laughs> we need to hear. Because you, yeah. you've been very polite to your patients. Yeah. You think this is your chance to just be brutally honest to us. I think I think Dan is an A. Oh my god! So much. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Why, 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 why. Um, I think also because he told me he just visited the dentist I like two months ago. But I must say there was a period of time where I didn't go to the dentist for 10 years. Yeah. Uh, before 2021 and yeah. so then I had to I had to come back mm. you know it's like finding religion again it's can like, you tell if the client like tried to bullshit you like for example right he know he's going to see a dentist right yeah. so 10 days before right he start brushing his teeth like mad. But actually before that, he never brushed one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, you tell? Can, can tell, can tell, can tell. <gasps> what so, are the signs? So if let's say you brush daily very well, you can remove the plaque, right? But if let's say you neglected it and then mm. 10 days before your dental visit, you suddenly start to brush. What happens is that uh, for the period of time that you didn't brush, your plaque actually hardens. It becomes <laughs> like calculus <laughs> or tata, right? Mm. So you cannot remove it no matter how well you brush. Yeah, you need, you need the dental equipment to remove it for so you. So even a very strong water floss that you can buy at home no, won't work? No, it won't work. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That, that water thing is like bad for your teeth. Is that true? No, no, no. It's good if you use use it correctly. So it can be a bit strong. So, you know, you don't, don't spray it directly at your gums. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, correct, I've correct, been just correct. putting it like that. Yeah. Okay, it feels okay. so good, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, so if you use it correctly, it's actually very, very useful. Especially mm. for patients who don't like like normal floss. They find it like very hard to, to use the normal floss. Right, and yeah. Water mm. faucet is good. <clears throat> yeah, it's okay. also great for patients who have like braces, you know? Oh, mm. there you go. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 They'll do it. Well, John, oh. <laughs> It's a B. B. Oh, yeah, she's going away. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. She's why, why, why? Why B? Because I think he, you didn't visit a dentist for a period for of quite time, a long right? time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but and still B, that's not bad. Yeah, yeah. you're just naturally What's gifted. Up, man? Yeah. Well, so yeah. after I visit already, then now is it should be an A lah. B plus uh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so his his was his his was not too bad even though he didn't visit for a period of time. But he did. He told me it wasn't that long. He didn't visit for like... A few years. A few eh? years, but not, yeah. not like... That's because he not long. I mean, there are patients <laughs> who didn't visit for 10 years, you know, like then. Mm -hmm. He never visit for 10 years. So I think for John, it was like two years or something, right? I think so. I yeah, think so, yeah. yeah. So goes not so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so okay. I think he was a B. Okay. Alison is, is a B only because you have some... Um, I think you have some wisdom teeth... Oh, yes. ...issues. So I think... I think um, that is... Decaying, yeah, and like <laughs> semi decaying. No, no, I think I think there's a like a food trap issue. Oh in yeah, case. yeah, yeah. So I think I think it's 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 good, but yeah, yeah, it can be I better. Will yeah. Work on it. <laughs> um, and um, <laughs> oh, my yeah, that has to at least be a pass. <laughs> maybe a. A C can be better. <laughs> oh, I just heard people like, oh, I just put D, uh, I just put D. I can feel like you want to give me a D. Just say it. <laughs> just want to say, like, during the visit, right? Yeah. Like, because Jared went first. Then after that, everybody, like, we all took turns, right? I think we all got certain laughs moment, right? I think it's because we brought Jared up. Because after that, right, Dr. John came out and said, Jared, don't don't so stress, eh? Like, why is everyone about you? No, because Jared came first, right? And yeah. everyone who came in the room, they were like, Jared is so stressed. Because <laughs> I walked out after seeing the scan, right? That's the, really the first time I saw, like, truly how much trouble I was in, basically. Mm. You know, like, there was a host of problems. And yeah, it really put into perspective, like, mm. okay, okay, you need to do something. No, so okay, when you okay. see, like, already, right? Yeah. Do you feel more compelled to actually get Yes. Get it fixed. Yes. Honestly, I'm going to do it next year already. Oh, really? Oh, like, like wow. this is the new project that I'm going to embark on. Because <gasps> I, 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 I Wait, my why? entire life, right, I haven't really paid attention to my teeth. And mm. I thought like, you know what? It's not really crooked. I can deal with it. Right? Yeah, like, copium. Like people around me, like getting braces, getting braces. I'm like, ah, okay, I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. yeah. But then now that I actually saw the scan and like what it could be, right, then I'm like, Okay, let's skip the beard transplant first. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's work on the teeth. And like, I, 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 sorry. And yeah, so I think I'm, thanks to the scan, right? I really think 
Yeah. I'm going to go do it next year already. I think with the scan, um, it's also great that, you know, we can send it, we can send it to it's you. Crazy. Yeah. yeah, you can share it with your family members, you know, you yeah. can show them. Yeah, you can see also and then encourage Correct. you. Yeah, I was so surprised, right, when the, I asked the receptionist, then she said, oh, actually, you can see in the Q&A app. And then I straight away go download the Q&A app, right? Yeah. Then I show my, then I go home, straight away show my wife. Then she's like, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Correct, I get correct. it now. She was convinced yeah. as well. Yeah, she was like, she's like, okay, yes, okay, okay. please. <laughs> <laughs> then she don't kiss me. So what's <laughs> the difference between <laughs> braces and What's the other one? Aligners. Yeah. Clear aligners. Clear yeah, what's the difference? Uh? Um, so braces is the traditional one where you have like a metal wire in your teeth. Like the finding uh, I think the one that Alison had uh, done, yes. right? Yes. So, um, and then aligners, it's the transparent one. So I think um, now aligners are gaining popularity. Mm. Yeah, because number one, it's transparent. Yeah. So people don't know that you're doing something to your teeth. Yeah, and it looks, it looks, you know, you can take photos. People don't know. Unlike the normal braces, where mm. you have like wires and yeah. number two um, it's actually cleaner because when oh. you eat you remove your aligners mm. you can yeah. eat and after that you can still floss yeah. so you can brush your teeth I don't know where yeah. was this right when I was in sec two yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I needed the Every innovation day, you know okay so after because you know the traditional ones you okay the fun part is you get to choose the colors <laughs> yes, yes. so I always choose blue because my favorite color right then I'll go downstairs then I eat something then when I go to the toilet open my mouth right Purple. then it become green <laughs> green because I eat something yellow yeah. oh. and then the blue plus yellow is green man. Yeah. <laughs> then I have to live for like two months with yeah, the green yeah. color Correct. oh my Correct. god Correct. no but, but he's laughing he's still laughing so on the <laughs> Is Jared's dream to have a Oh, why? Aesthetic. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Have you tried like filter? I'll show you a picture later, okay? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he need to laugh or like yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is he saying what? He's so fat he's going to postpone it. <laughs> 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 it's, it's real, it's real. Yeah. It's real. Yeah. Yeah. I want to go to Turkey and like, you know. It's like, for real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That's too good, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, what exactly is decay? Uh? Like, I don't understand the concept of it. You think about it simply, it's like rotting, rotting of your teeth. The tooth itself is yes. rotting. Like yes, corroding yes. motion. Oh. Uh. Yes, How yes. does bone rot? Tooth is not a bone. Hey, oh, sorry. Tooth That's is not, not a bone. Yeah, okay. no, no, no. Then what is it? It's made of minerals, right? Ah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. And then, you know, it's, it's, it's com- composed of like, you know, you have your enamel dentine layer <laughs> and it is it's supported by bone. Okay, okay. Ah. Correct. So the bone is the underlying structure. We are learning yeah. so much. Oh my God. Correct. Correct, correct. So, so the bone is beneath the gum that supports your teeth and prevents it from becoming shaky. So the decay the is when you lose minerals from your teeth and you start to have like bacterial infiltration yeah. into the tooth. So what, what happens is that you can get a little hole. With more and more bacteria growing inside, um, the hole can become bigger. Mm, if okay. the bacteria reaches the nerve, then you can get symptoms like toothache. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Correct. Pain. Correct. Uh, pain, pain. Yeah, oh pain. my gosh. So yeah. are there certain like common foods that... Um, speed up the process of decay. Like, so my, my, if for me, the perception is that it's, it's sugar, it's probably carbonated mm, drinks. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, definitely. So sugars and carbonated drinks, you're right. So for carbonated drinks, um, they actually increase the acid content. <sighs> Oh, yeah, in your mouth, okay. acid levels, acid levels in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. So if you, if you don't brush your teeth thoroughly, and um, you know all this food, they get stuck in your teeth. Yeah, it's just you know a ground for for bacteria mm-hmm. to breed lah. Mm-hmm. La. What I thought initially was there was sugar, and so then when I moved to like zero sugar carbonated drinks, right, I was like, okay lah, this should be fine. And then I realized, right, I don't know why I can like feel like my teeth corroding a bit. <laughs> 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 then when I went oh to the dentist the next time, right? release, yeah. Huh. Oh. Yeah, I've got like, I think a bit of like decay. Or, then I was like, oh, so by been drinking zero sugar, it's like, no, it's the carbonated drink. Yes, correct. Food, it metabolizes into acid. Right. So that's when the pH levels in your mouth actually decreases. And that's when enamel gets weakened. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if let's say, you know, you constantly drink, you don't give your mouth a break, then the acid levels are always low in the mouth. Yeah, but if let's say you drink and then, you know, take a break, you don't keep snacking. Eh? No. What happens is that you give time for your saliva to to sort of neutralize the acid level. Okay. But yes, naturally, correct, correct, naturally correct, correct, but correct. is there something that we can consume to accelerate the 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 rebalancing <laughs> toothpaste like the <laughs> NDS <Yeah. acidic. laughs> I think in terms of time frame so even if let's say you eat right you want to wait at least 30 minutes before you go in and brush so it's not like immediately you go in and brush then it's like mm. miracle oh. miracle yeah. mm. because, because the acid levels are already high in the mouth and the enamel is weakened so if you go in and brush you're actually causing more damage because you're brushing away the weakened right. enamel oh. correct why did you decide <laughs> to become a dentist so the funny thing is my childhood ambition was actually to be a doctor mm. but 
I also don't know why I wanted to be a doctor. No one in my family was from the medical field. But I think along the way, my dreams deviated a bit. I realized I was not so interested in human body and biology. Oh. And then at the same time, uh, my secondary school, they organized like a work experience program. So um, I got to join dentists on their daily job for a few days. And that's when I got to experience, uh, you know, look at how dentists work. And that's when I actually thought, you know, dentistry could be a career, right? Oh. So, yeah. Not to insult doctors at all, or dentists at all in any way, but there's always this, like, conversation. I don't know how I started. I feel like I'm going to insult them. But, <laughs> go on. Okay. Because dentists don't have to study as long as doctors. It's always like, oh, start as doctor first, then realize, oh, yeah, I don't want to study so long, go dentistry. Mm-hmm. Is that is that true? Is there some truth to that? I think it's inaccurate because the course that I was in, it was five years. Oh. Yeah, so um, I think Singapore, it's four years. Okay. But it's four years because they cram everything into four years. Ah. The Singapore way. Yeah. Within dentistry, there's different specializations. Oh, oh such as? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what's that? What's that? Braces. Braces. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. And then there's like gum specialist, there's oh. like oral surgeon. Oh. oh. Yeah, and it's like a prostodontist, you know. Oh, See, what? You I, 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 I'm hearing dinosaur names. <laughs> <laughs> prostodontist, is <isn't> it? <laughs> What's all that interesting? You know, I studied five years overseas. I studied in Trinity College, Dublin, in Ireland. Ooh! So Jared uh, claims that he has a very good Irish accent. <laughs> Better Keegan. Yeah, yeah, I think I know. I think I know. Try the lucky charms one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bowl of lucky charms. Oh, oh, okay. It, it sounds, it sounds a bit like it. Yeah, correct, correct. Okay, but your turn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what surprised you about dentist school? Like when you first went there, was there something that was like unexpected? For dental school, you also do have to see cadavers. So like dead huh? bodies. Cadaver? Oh, why? 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 So that's that's how we learn anatomy. <laughs> yeah, so same like medical students. We go into the lab and then we see dead body and then that's when we learn anatomy. <sighs> Yeah, so I think that was a bit unexpected because I, you know, going wow. to dental school, you think, eh, just, just the mouth. But, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. no, we have to learn that as well. I think, right, they do it so that you're so desensitized, right, that you, <laughs> could, like, anything disgusting, right, you're okay. Like, you see, see the, the dead body, 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 you know. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, nothing else can spook you. Actually, dead body, it's, it's actually very clean. Oh. It's very sterile. So, so I think that's a misconception as well. Like, okay. eh, it's going to be very gory. But actually, no, they are very clean. And then when, you know, when we go into the labs, we... We are very focused. Yeah. I think okay. all students were very focused. You touch it as well. <laughs> you touch it. Yeah, because we have to learn. We have but to learn the different the class, parts. Like, no. For my school, it's like the dead bodies are, are just on yeah. the, the cadavers are just on the table. Oh. They may have, you know, their chest open. For some of them, their head. So you look at their brain, so okay, on so forth. Okay. Yeah. This is not yeah, so. How fresh Sorry, are they? Sorry, I hope this is not like too disgusting. No, no, no. Our no, 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 no. audience <laughs> loves this kind of conversation. It takes a certain breed of people to really be like in the medical or like dentist yeah. profession. Yeah. Do you remember your first patient? I remember my first day actually. Oh, so my okay. first day at work, I was very nervous. The night before, sure. yeah. I revised everything, you know. <laughs> do the motion. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 not do the motion, like the but like theory, the, yeah, the theory, the theory. Uh-huh. Like, oh, how, how to tell, explain the patient this. And then when I went to work, I was expecting like, you know, so complicated stuff. And then I realized my list, it was like 10 scaling and polishing. Oh, <laughs> so, what a great day. Yeah, and, then, and, then, and then I went in and then there was a patient who needed two fillings. And the patient had like diabetes. I was like, no, we cannot do two today. Two is too much for you. Okay. We do like one. Are you sure you had like your breakfast? You had your lunch? You know, are you sure you're feeling okay? The patient was like, yeah, I'm fine. Can you just do the cleaning? Can you just do the two fillings today? And then I think, because, you know, I was very new. So I was like, no, you know, we can only do for like half an hour. Like, we cannot, we cannot exceed that. You know, it'll be too much for you. You know, go home rest. You come back that day. So I think, I think the patient felt a bit like, eh, what's going on? Like, first time that this tell me this kind of thing. But I think after that, then I realized, eh, no, like, actually, you know, you can do more. What's more difficult, the, the actual dentist work or the speaking to clients part? I think it really mm. depends. The clinical skills aside, I can always refer to specialists, yeah. right? Mm. Um, where else is the uh, patient management? It can be, it can be a bit challenging, like if you meet difficult patients, then yeah. So I think that part also can be quite tricky. So it's a balance of both, lah. There are patients who are very fearful as well, mm. so they can be very nervous coming in. Um, so you have to prep them, uh, give them a lot of tender loving care, TLC, make <laughs> them feel comfortable. Out of ten patients, how many come in with like? that phobia for me now one out of ten or two out of ten oh, okay okay yeah so is there any like s- special strategies you have you know to like calm the patients down actually what really causes the fear you have to figure yeah. that also right yeah okay dental fear and dental anxiety means like maybe they're just scared of the dentist but dental phobia means they have an irrational fear 
So they may not even know why they are so scared about mm, the dentist. Mm, right. I had a patient who came in. She was just crying before she even <laughs> sat in my chair. Oh my god! She didn't even want to sit on the dental chair, so she had to sit like beside me, like same level. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah. And then and then we just had a chat. So she said like you know she knows she has a lot of issues. A lot of these people they know they have a lot of issues, mm. but they're just so scared about seeing the dentist. So you know she came in and then you know first you tell her like, you know well done you know well done for coming in today. Yeah, this yeah, is the yeah, first step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We just have a chat. Just make them feel comfortable like You know they. Wanna, they want to know like you know coming out of face doesn't mean like you know they're gonna get tortured right yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. so so it's only when they feel comfortable then they will come back for subsequent yeah. treatment okay yeah. okay okay for me my perception of dentists have been very warped since childhood because i had one dentist growing up he was a really old man and he was very very scary because like he would be like oh my mouth Open your mouth. Like, like you were just like slowly close while you like open your mouth you know so that to me it's just like oh my god scary guy yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah to yeah. see often compared to like my pediatrician who's like hello lollipop you yeah know, that kind of thing right? <laughs> lollipop bed yeah then when I suddenly became an adult haven't been to the dentist in a long time and mm. I realised oh actually now the dentists are all like around my age right mm. all quite fun all quite cool all experience the same phobia mm. growing up maybe yeah. suddenly now like oh the experience is very really nice and yeah. it's a lot gentler yeah. last time yeah. it felt like they are trying to but maybe you young girl you smaller <laughs> so it's harder to <laughs> yeah, right, right. now your mouth big ah. <laughs> no but last time when I was young I, I'm always damn excited to go to the dentist cause huh? last time in school right same, they will have same, like this same, dentist same. truck right with yes. damn big teeth with a smiley face then I'll be like oh my god I can skip class then I'm always register number one so I'm always the first one to go to the bus then I'm damn excited to go yeah. to the bus and like aircon then I just sit there and shut up for like wow like, like, so minutes. long ah. then normally the dentist will give you this fake like tooth uh, structure okay. for you to see your the teeth and like, oh, yeah. and like okay you practice brushing that I'll be oh. like oh, okay so actually I love going to the dentist until I did metal braces oh, okay. then I hated the dentist because every time after that is, not no as in not, not the dentist itself but after that my it's mouth very pain so like every time I go I feel like oh. yeah I think it's the pain also. yeah yeah for yeah. sure for no sure. no no I'll tell you like it's a very tangible fear so I mm-hmm. already, it's not irrational yeah it's not irrational at all uh. like I already have a fear intense fear of needles mm-hmm. and then when my brother got braces he told me that they need to inject your gums like uh? for, for the mm-hmm. anesthesia anesthesia right and I'm like what the hell that's crazy, like, right? How can this size needle like your go in all the way in your gums? That's yeah, yeah. the imagery, right? Just yeah. shut me off from dentists. Like doing any major dental work, I the most I clean. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think there are patients yeah. with the same fear as you. There are also ways to counter it. Like if you're scared of needles, then we go in with like topical anesthesia first. Okay. So at least you now out the surface yeah. tissue yeah. so you don't feel so uncomfortable when the needle oh. penetrates. I like the sound oh. of topical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Then surface, there are also te- other techniques. Like nowadays, I think some vibrating machine, maybe you just put it here. So to take your attention away from, from the mouth. Oh. So when it vibrates here, then you like focus on the vibration here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, that's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> do this to my <laughs> fingers like I will oh. press my arm while they yeah, do yeah. it because you know sometimes they get to a certain part like you got a lot of plug right then they were like Zoom. yeah then it gets really like uncomfortable so sometimes yeah. I'll just like yeah. I, I do the same thing I purposely arm. don't cut my fingernails that day and I just <laughs> squeeze <laughs> and squeeze and I'm like mm, yeah and then every time the dentist will be like hey like raise your hand okay or are you feeling uncomfortable and I'm like mm, I'm okay but I'm like squeezing hard <laughs> blood dropping yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how do you say I'm okay while the dentist that's the, the, that's the thing I was going to ask so like usually dentists will uh, like talk to you right but then you obviously can't speak so I don't know what's the best way to respond I just go ah yeah I'm trying to talk but I realise like no one can understand you actually, so that's actually if you part. if you move a bit I think that usually we, we can notice okay. you know and usually I tell my patients you know if you feel uncomfortable they just raise your hands we can always stop right yeah. Okay. oh yeah you say like no yeah 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 <laughs> Oh. Yeah. I never yeah. thought about that. I always yeah. like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> but like, do you prefer patients to be uh, closing their eyes or opening their eyes? Okay, the good oh, thing yes. is the sunglasses are quite black in my clinic. Oh, your ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite dark. Yours really red. Really so I don't, I don't see if the patient's eyes are open or not. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the concern, I can, yeah, because I'm like, oh. Yeah. Okay, so, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll so sometimes okay. I can see like patients' eyes are open, but usually they, they're not looking at me. They're looking at the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, so, so you know, I'm just focused on doing what I'm doing. So let's say I do a perfect run from very young, you know, like I 
I brush my teeth the correct way. I mm. follow the steps. I floss before and all that. What and a then, hypothetical for you. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> In another world. Do I still need to go to the dentist? Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, I would say you think you might be doing it correctly. Oh, so it's but a you, user problem again. Uh. <laughs> but you, you don't know. And there might be also the other dental issues. Yeah. Uh, even though there's no symptoms, mm. there might be dental issues that, that are present but you're unaware. And of course, if let's say, you know, you think everything's okay, then the problem might just continue to develop mm. and become more serious problem. Mm. And down the road, you might need, you know, more complex treatment, la, which is not ideal. Yeah. Hey, so for example, like with Dan, right? Because hey, you hi. never go for like 10 years, right? Yeah, mm. it was like what time. What are the things that will occur over that period of time mm. that are now irreversible, irreparable? You know what I mean? Mm. Mm. No, definitely things are developing within the three years. So like, mm. for example, um, for some of you, you've never seen dentists for a period of time. And then when you came in and see me that day, then I highlight to you, hey, now you have a few cavities. Yeah. Mm. Uh, your gum condition is not so good. You have gum disease going on. So of course, if you came in earlier, there might not have been like five cavities in your mouth. Yeah. It might have been one. Yeah, I think it's quite important. Like, like don't use me as a case study, as a success story of like, you don't have to go for <laughs> 10 years and then go because cautionary tale. like during that time, like I remember having a lot of toothache. So I couldn't eat no ice way. cream. I couldn't eat like very cold stuff because I had like at least like two or three cavities around and it was super painful. All right, so that was an enlightening and whitening, and whitening. episode. Thank you so much, Dr. Trump, for joining us today. Oh, thank and of course, you. a big thank you to QNM Dental for being our partners for this episode. So just like medical health screenings, proactive and regular oral health screenings are critical in mm. ensuring our overall well-being. Mm. True. Healthy, healthy mouth, mouth, healthy body. Healthy body. That's you, the tagline? Yeah, I think so. Interesting. Rhymes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So check with your dentist to see if they offer digital oral health screenings today. Yeah. Thank you, like, everybody. Bye like, bye. Like, bye. Like, See you in the next one. Bye. Bye bye. So, if let's say, you know, you don't brush your teeth thoroughly, <laughs> you don't sugar, no? Yeah. <laughs> 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 don't brush your teeth. No, no. Not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so I brush my teeth. Yeah. Okay.